Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, if you guys are wondering why the hell I have so many Hot Wheels ID cars, well today I finally got something I've been wanting to get on Amazon. Move these, these out of the way. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be reviewing this. What I have here is the Hot Wheels ID, this is the race portal kit. And it comes with the race portal itself, charger, two boot connected tracks, and two exclusive cars. Well, the colors, not the cars. I'll get on that at the moment. Now, I know, every, I know some of you guys are going to say, Nobody cares about your channel. Just shut down so we, so we can all be happy. Screw you, okay? I already have enough bull crap. I know some of you guys don't even care me revealing this. All you guys is just gonna give me a dislike, say bad things in the comment until I'm at my breaking point. So yes. So you know, this is the what are the packaging looks like. So here's the side, here's the top, and yes, this is the international packaging because I had this and a bunch of letters right here. Here's the back of it. Like I said, international packaging, of course. And also this thing can fold up. See everything right here. And the two exclusive cars, well the colors, not the cars. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So yeah. Well, like I know some of you guys are gonna say, well nobody cares, just shut down, so yeah. Now before I'm gonna continue to this, please be advised it's not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors. And also, if you guys are underage or 13 or younger, just get out, okay? Just get out. Jeez. And also, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell simply on my gaming channel if some of you guys are going to care. So, I'm going to pause the video, take everything out of the con what it, what it comes with the inside, and that pretty much is it. Alright, so the content of this packaging, but first I'll show you that. Here is what it looks like the inside. And like I said, this is the international packaging because it doesn't have, you know, English. Just said uh, download the app, uh, recharge it, turn on the Bluetooth, turn on the I, the the game. I mean, turn on the portal and get in the game, and that's it. And here's the back of the packaging. And the U.S. version of it is how like the War of Hot Wheels is changing, but this one is just said Hot Wheels ID. So yeah, move this box out of the way. Now the contents of this box comes with the charger, of course, but you might need to use the charger. Two, ah, damn it, come on. Two track connectors, of course, but I don't have any Hot Wheels tracks. The race portal itself, and the little thing, and the little tripod stand dinghy right here and the two exclusive cars which this I'll get on with it later first here it is the race portal set well the race portal oh man I don't know why I'm making videos I should have stopped making it about a about a month ago months ago so here's the race portal set it looks okay. I like what they did, you know, the detail of the, over here. You can see when it said Hot Wheels, but I wish you could, you know, just paint it on. Pretty much, I said you can you can see the ID color, the ID logo right here. I did mess around with it a little bit, but I didn't scan any cars. And there are some holes right here to connect some your track connector. So put one here. You can't take it out. So only the only way to Take it out, you just press the little button and just boom, there you go. Put one here. Just put the other one here. 
that's pretty cool. And also this thing is removable and you can connect to the um, smart track kit, which I unfortunately do not own it. You can see the Hot Wheels logo right here. Pretty cool, it's just a whole hunk of plastic right here. And this is just, you know, Portal P1 right here. Now the one thing I have, oops, I accidentally turned it on by accident. Now the reason why I bought this because the little comes with a little stand right here. Now what it does, if you have your phone with you, you can put it right here. Well, I have the case on, so I'm gonna try to take it off. You can put your phone here. Even you could do it on your tablet as well if you have the ID app. I got this on Amazon for about thirty dollars plus tax. So I'm officially broke. I only have forty six cents. Why the hell I'm even buy this? Because I'm that stupid. So yes. Now before I will show you how to scan it, I'm gonna show you guys the cars. Alright. Now if you guys gonna wondering what the hell just happened. Since I have the little little tripod dinny what I'm using it right now, I'm gonna show you guys the cars. Now the two cars it comes with is focus on the camera is the twin mill and the GT Hunter. Now these two are not exclusive for the we'll bring it back a little bit of the camera. Jesus Christ. There we go. Now these two are not exclusive for this. Um, the color scheme are. On this one, on the original one has the red and this one has the the red as well. So red orange color red. So I'm gonna start off with twin mill. So here it is the twin mill what it looks what it looks like. The painting is sculpted in detail. This one is so cool. For some reason this one have this one is a lightweight this one have a kind of a bit of weight to it, but I'll get on that one later. It has some nice spectra of blue on him. I do want to say that. A nice, beautiful spectra of blue. You can see the nice, awesome detailing of this. Minus, you can see the other one. Got the high, Hot Wheels ID logo right here in the back. Here's the base of it. Translucent, plastic, uh, gray piece right here. Tires of translucent wheels, uh, translucent blue. Sorry, said the HW cars. This one is from the HW original, so I think it's from the HW original. I don't know. It does work pretty good. It does great for booster loops and curve and downhill racing. I do want to mention one thing: the motor are made of plastic, and they are in a like a silverish uh, gray color right here, which it looks okay. Now for the GT Hunter, this one is from the Night Burner series. Now I want to say something. This one right here looks great. But for, for some apparent reason, I don't know why they put blue on the metallic blue on the tire rim. So like, I don't understand. It does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing. Boost loops and curve downhill racing because of the way the detail of this die cast. You can see right here, GT Hunter. You can barely see it. Even the color scheme of this one looks great. I don't know the actual name of this color. Now on the packaging it shows just like a like a silver silver color but on this one it's like a like a real like a purplish color. Do I got an error on this one? I don't want to even know. If I do I'm screwed. You can see the Hot Wheels while right here and you can see a lot of um, flame detail of this. The base of it is like a magenta pinkish color. I don't know the actual name of this. But it almost looks like a peachy color as well. I don't want to say that. This piece right here is plastic, by the way. Plastic base, metal body. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to turn on the the turn on the boot, the portal, to grab my phone, my other phone, to, to show you guys how to do it. And pretty much that's it. Alright, so... I got the app on, so the way to do it, you need to turn on the Bluetooth and the portal as well. And also it does say it requires to turn on your no your location on, so 
gonna turn on the portal. Turn on the thing right here. Please turn on the portal. And it also does require, you know, to update the portal of it. So, so much better do that first. I have to deal with my issue with that one. There we go. So the way it works to to the um, how to put the car in the portal. You take um, any any one of your Hot Wheels vehicle. I'll do the Chase ID card. The which one is was it again? The seventy four S card RS one six hundred. So up. Nope. So yeah, sorry about the game is kind of lagging. See the actual car is now there it is. That's how you do it, and also does show every, and also does um see your your stars right here, thirty to level five. Now to get this, so I'm gonna scan all the Hot Wheels cars I have. What I have here, so this one's already finished. Let's do um, solid muscle. Start into the virtual. Start into the virtual garage I have. Here it is, all level five, five stars. Just trying to. Here it is, the digital version of this one. I do have. I already do have the uh, you know the other one with me. Uh, next up is the blue twin mill. Okay, I was right. It is from the HW originals. Here it is. Sardians in my garage. The ID version. The ID. Go down, grab this, deli, I don't know what that means, but okay. Let's put the GT Hunter. There it is, GT Hunter now is inside of my garage. I am very excited to finally have the race portal set. Well, the kit, sorry. There it is, the GT Hunter, the, the color exclusive, uh, this one. Yeah, this one is silver, I don't know why this one is all purplish. Next is the Arkham Knight Batmobile. There, there it is inside of my garage. There it is, the Batmobile. I do want to put the Arkham Knight uh, series, uh, well, the Arkham Knight game. Sorry, there it is, the Batmobile. Gonna get again the thing right here. Grab this out of the way. I'm gonna put the rally finale.
Here it is, the rally finale. There is a green version of this one, so yeah, I think another one from the Smart Track kit, which I don't own. Okay, we have the Corvette, the 1969 Racer. I like that sound. Here it is inside of my garage. I still want to get the Series 2 ID cards. I can't even find any of my local Walmart Target. Next, we have the same car again. The 70 Ford. Escort, but this time in this color. I don't know if you guys can hear the end of the game uh, music. Grab that, come on. Alright, the Justice League Batmobile, which, by the way, the gun is kind of droopy. You can see the Justice League Batmobile. It's already now got in my garage. Continue. Grab that. And lastly but not least, I save for last kit for a Knight Rider. Which I do want to get the the original release from Kit. Come on. There it is, Kit with his classic black instead of the re in real life is just a spectral flame black. There it is, Kit. God, it, this one is so cool. There we go. Now I already got all the Hot Wheels ID cards scanned. Into my phone, right to the garage. So yeah. Overall, this is one of the greatest kit ever. If you guys want to get to, get this one, I already got in my local... Um, well, not my local. I already got it on Amazon. But if you guys can find it in Target or the Apple Store, good luck finding that. If you guys want to see a full playlist of every Hot Wheels ID car I did, go to the, make sure to go check it out at the, oh hey look, I forgot to mention one thing, um, this one have a special cinematic for Kit. As I was saying, if you guys want to see the last Hot Wheels ID car uh, review I did, I don't know which one was it, oh well, go ahead and check it out, it's going to be at the, all the way to the outro. So yeah, it's new outro, new intro. Because I'm bored. Got nothing else to do. You guys already know the rules. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Steam, Discord, Torch, and Origin. Link in the description down below on all of them. And also the this one right here. So yeah, until next time you guys. I'm out.